Playoff fever well and truly kicking in this morning as I wake up to go to work. Uh, I'm in my car, just about to head into work. I'm only doing half a day because I'm finishing early. So I can sort out a few bits uh, and head to the game a little bit earlier than I usually would to meet a few people. Um, but yeah, my nerves are crazy this morning. I'm not, I don't want to say I'm not confident. I just think it's going to be a difficult game, really difficult game. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it so much. You know, there's going to be a great atmosphere plenty of fans in the stadium hopefully we can see a bigger attendance than what we did against Solihull that'd be fantastic and uh yeah looking forward to it gonna get my hair cut after work as well um so yeah I'll catch up with you guys in a bit haircut as you can see um feeling ready but I cannot tell you how nervous I am I know I've just said it but my god I feel like I can't eat my stomach's doing backflips <sighs> I don't know if it's because I'm not confident or just because how much is riding on this game because it sort of feels like <clears throat> if we don't go up, we're at risk of losing some serious players and maybe even Birchnell. So I'm trying to stay optimistic, but honestly, I'm, I'm all over the place. Just been dropped down to West Bridgeford. Uh, my sister thankfully brought me down so I could have a, a few drinks before the game. I'm going into the Trent Bridge Inn now to meet Jake, Will and Jordan. And then Tom's going to join us later on and we're going to move over to the Nav. Um, it's about five o'clock. Lots of Grimsby fans around, lots of Knots fans around, which is great to see a few hours before kickoff. Um, yeah, I'm still nervous though. Just met with Will in the Trembridge Gym. Um, I've just said I'm really nervous, been saying it all day. How are you feeling, mate? Not good. I didn't get anything done at work. I was just walking around, not doing what I should have been doing. It's been awful, and I, I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not looking forward to it. No, I'm, I'm just nervous. Not. I don't think you're on your own there either. I've seen yeah. a lot of people on Twitter saying that, um, but I know Jake and Jordan are on the way, so we'll see how they're feeling soon. I mean, I've arrived. I've got back in from work pretty quick. I've made it. I met with George. You can probably hear six o'clock. The atmosphere is buzzing. Mate, buzzing. Isn't it? I've just driven past the ground. It's so good. Um, how are you feeling? I've been here twice before in the past two years. Not overly nervous, but. You know, it's starting to get there. I think once my players are out on that pitch, I'll be, I'll be breaking it. I'll tell you what, I am nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous. It's got a call in about 10 minutes' time with uh, BBC Radio Wales. Uh, Rex and want to know the lowdown of whoever they might play. So there's myself and a Grimsby fan. You know, we're not looking that far ahead, are we? We're not looking that far ahead. Just tried to get into the navigation. It's one in, one out. We can't get in, so... We're going to have to try and go elsewhere before the game. I think we're going to try the broken wheelbar now, so uh, we'll see if our luck's in there. Uh, obviously, George, you would have seen, just tried to get in the knife, couldn't get in there. We've come to the broken wheelbar. I've just met him, I finished my call on uh, BBC Radio Way. It was a good call. Uh, also, Grimsley fell on there. Both sort of feeling the same, not 100% not confident, but also it's a great opportunity to play to play Rector in the semi final. So, next time we see you, it'll probably be time for team news. Um, not expecting massive changes, but I think there might be surprising there, maybe on the bench. It's quarter to seven, team news just out. And I, I think that's our strongest team, don't you, Jim? Yeah, if you'd asked me last year like, who was starting, I'd have picked that exact lineup. Yeah, definitely. Solid, it? It? It's great to see Chipton in there, isn't it? Yeah. You know, the back three. Yeah. It's probably our best back three. You, you've got, you've we got talked about this last night, didn't we, on the, on the podium? That you, we, act, we was going to play a back three. We knew we was going to play a back three. So yeah. yeah, definitely. How are you nervous now? How are you feeling? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. He's feeling it. Yeah. I'm feeling it. Everyone here is feeling it. <laughs> send off to the players as they went off. Um, yes, yeah, you know, I am very, very nervous right now. Uh, some of the people are weird, buzzing, but for me, nerves completely. Yeah, it's whoever wants it more. We know we play good football. It's whoever wants it more in the day, so about five minutes till kick off. Three minutes into the game, 
Uh, Grimsby, you know, having the better of it really. Got two corners in, nothing's come of it. Slocum's clean the second one. The first one was a poor corner. Um, but you know, it's an edgy start to the game for both sides. Seven minutes in, not what we want. Robert's down, uh, looks like he's holding his ankle. He's receiving treatment, but he's gone down pretty quick. So we'll have to see what comes of this. Um, Eli Sam been sent to warm up, but if Roberts is out of it, it's going to be a nightmare. Just over 15 minutes gone. I've got to say, Grimsby are, are really pressing us. We're really struggling to deal with their press. Um, struggling to get out of our own box at times. We've had a couple of chances, but not really clear cut. Uh, Grimsby having the better of the game so far. Cal looks about done. 20 minutes in, he's gone down again. Uh, this doesn't look good. Player that influential going off 20 minutes into a playoff game. It looks like he's tried, but he's not been involved at all. And I think it's because he's done his ankle. So um, it looks like Eli Sam's coming on, but massive blow for Knox. Richardson puts it down the far, far side on the right hand side. He sold his man, puts it across into Ruben. Ruben gets his head on it just over the bar. Um, it's our best chance of the game, probably the best chance of the game. Uh, it's electric in here. 37 minutes, Jim O'Brien's going to tackle with Souza. I have no doubt in the line, Souza's trying to get O'Brien sent off. There's little, if any, contact. The ref's waited five, six, seven seconds. You can hear what the fans think, never a foul. Yet to see what the ref's going to give. But uh, he's part of the pressure of the Grimsy fans and Sousa rolling around on the floor. Nothing in it at all. Free kick from this, if anything comes from this. Ridiculous in the referee, ridiculous decision. Half time then, nil nil. Both sides having chances. I think Knox had the better chance. Um, They've had more chances. Yeah, definitely. we've had the better chance. Yeah, for sure. Um, it's been it's been a difficult watch, hasn't it? As, as a as a Knox fan, it's been very very nervy. A um, few rash challenges from them. I think I think Jim was poorly done by the ref to be given a yellow card. He got all the ball, none of the player. Um, but yeah, I mean, first half I think we grinded it out, didn't we? It's nil nil. I think we can come out second half shooting towards the cop. Shoot, yeah, shooting towards the cop for sure. That that definitely makes a difference. Um, I'm, I am really hoping for big things in the second half. I think the big thing for me is if it goes to extra time, I hope I eat my words here, but if it goes to extra time, does Eli have 70 minutes plus extra time in it to try to help Richardson? The bond, like, the, the, the bond he had with Cal was so good. Cal's gone off because he was visibly distressed, went straight down the tunnel. Yeah. It's a massive second half. We literally stood up and I'm having to sit down at points because my legs can't take it. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm absolutely in bits here. Yeah. Look, the atmosphere is fantastic, home and away fans. Grimsby have come out. I think personally they've done a good job on Knox. We've got very limited space in the middle. We've had to play it across the park. Three out of the four times we've done that, it's gone out of play because the press is so well. So we've got to find a way to, to stop Grimsby doing that. Yeah. So far for me, they've got the tactics a little bit better than this. Yeah, they have. And I really hope Cal going off and Eli coming on so early doesn't really hinder us later on in the game when we sort of need maybe a, an, an attacking player to come on. You know, we, I think we still have front on the bench that can maybe come on and change it a little bit. But, you know, it's going to be a very, very interesting second Yeah, I, I hope I have my voice at the end because it's going now. Yeah, yeah, me too. Corner to Knox. Eli broke down, could have played into Chickson. Sad to go sell off the corner. Matty Palmer's going to take. Nerves, only 50 minutes in. Matty Palmer. Plenty in there for Knox. Come on. Yes, Back out, Richardson has won it. Not still have the ball. Throw into Knox, he's taken quick. Kyle Cameron, can he get it in? Oh, goal kick to Grimsby, but Knox pressing. Just under an hour gone. Substitution. Um, Jim's off, he's only had a goal. Ed Francis has come on. Hopefully, he shows the game up a little bit. Knox, handball. We 
was not given a red because I think it was accidental. Cal Roberts, who has scored the last two or three penalties, is off. It's Ruben. Seventy-one minutes. Eli won the ball. Ruben against their keeper, who's had nothing to do all night. Ruben Rodriguez scored away at Grimsby to win the game for Notts. Has a penalty in front of the cop. I don't feel confident. The ref fell of the keeper had to save a step up for a penalty, is not he? He's coming off his line. I'm not feeling confident. Come on, Ruby. Ruben, step up. Ref's taking his time. Come on, Ruben. Come on. Expect group being full boys now. As George is sat, I don't want to dig players out, especially with players. But what is Richardson doing in that situation? The last thing you do is push a player. It's a gift. It's an absolute gift. Right now, I see Grimsby with the momentum. I see them taking it. So is that again with some amateur dramatics? Um, it's a 50-50 header. I think it was Brun that went up for it. Brunt wins the ball and he goes down like he's been shot. Refs get Brunt a yellow card. Uh, we're about 10 minutes in. Not so bad. We've had our chances. We definitely have. I think we just need to keep that pressure on. Try not to tire ourselves out too much. About five, just over five minutes left. Maybe a minute out of time. Players are tiring. Lots have a corner. Ref blown up again. <clears throat> That'll suit the players. Gives them a rest. Um, we've just had a decent chance with Wooten. He went down with cramp early in the first half of extra time. But um, players are tiring definitely now. See what the rest is sorting out, but it's a uh, corner to not. Yeah, I can't take this much longer. Penalties would do me in. 
Matty Farmer delivers. He's gone back out. Kyle Cameron, I don't think he's going to come to anything unless he can put it in. Back out to Dion Kelly Evans. Nice, it's, it's, uh, it's not good. Looking like Grimsby have nicked it on the death of extra time from a free kick. It's going around the box again, similar to, the, to their goal late in the in the 90 plus five. Deflated. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. It looked like it was all done and dusted. And now this. Our season has come to an end. I can't, I can't actually believe it. It's, it's a, the most heartbreaking way to to be dumped out of the playoffs. We must have been 20, 30 seconds away from winning. Richardson gives away the foul on the edge of the box. They have every man in the box. You know, just pure deflation. Our stands are about empty now. I don't know if you can hear the Grimsby fans, but they look like they're also here. They're also singing. You know, and you just think it, it really could have been us. It really could have been. I just think we're, we're literally the almost club. Every season, something crazy goes wrong. You know, you look at Harrogate and um, it's just a nightmare. You look at Torquay, it's a nightmare. Fair play to Grimsby, they came, I think they played well, I think they, they were better than us. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're the almost club. I would say I wish you well, Grimsby, but honestly, I want Wrexham out of the league. As much as it hate, pains me to say, I want Wrexham to win. I need, we need them out of the league. Fair play to you, good luck. We'll be back again next season to find another way to, to mess it up. Yeah, hopefully so. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, um, I'm sure you didn't if you're not son. If you did, subscribe. You know, we're, we're so close to hitting that 2,000 subscriber mark. It's a heartbreaking way to end the season. Uh, but, you know, it would be the silver lining if we did make that milestone. Uh, thanks for watching us this season. We've really enjoyed making content again this season. And obviously, we'll be back next season to make more.